Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. In my previous video, I went over how to unlock the newest Dark Aether portal from Season 5 Reloaded, and I did make a run in there just using the regular sigil. So in this video, I'd like to go back into the Dark Aether, but this time using an Elder Sigil and try to start working at unlocking the new schematics that we have for this season. So the uh, Bandolier, the Disciples Bottle, and then the Permanent Stash Increase. So let's jump in there and see what I can get. Okay, so off to tier three, gonna, um, you know, gear up just like normal, buy up some self revives, some Casimirs and stuff like that. Uh, before I make it in there, so I was thinking the other day, I was just running around doing random contracts, and it got me thinking, I've been playing this game, like, a lot. A lot, a lot. I've put a lot of hours into this. But I'm curious, do you, has anyone actually maybe completed every single contract that is available on this map? And I'm think like, I've gone around and done contracts in kind of every area possible, but like especially these defend ground stations and the um, what the rocket one uh, cargo extract, I don't know if I've done every single one of those. But part of me feels like I have. So I'm just curious. Does anyone actually think they've completed every single contract in this game? Okay, so I am all geared up. I'm ready to go into the elder. Okay, so I do want to try and get the um, escort ACV done first, and I know that's this way. I don't know the best path to get there. I still don't know any paths. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, wait. This is pretty good, actually, because I know it's up there. Stay there. Don't run at me. Hey, hey. Ooh. Ouchie. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Quick and easy recovery. I want to just start this as quick as possible. Now let's try and place this here. Valid placement. Yes, thank you. Aha. I'm already out of ammo. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not good. Let's do that. Let's deploy my field upgrade. Hopefully. Oh gosh, no. Oh good. I got ammo. <laughs> I didn't realize I ran over ammo. No, I'm stuck. Ah. <laughs> okay, got to throw one of these. Not a great start. Not a great start at all. Oh, boy. Let's throw another one. I've got two for each. Okay, I got a nice, good amount of ammo now. Gotta be a little careful. I went a little trigger happy there. The main focus just needs to be keeping things off the ACV. I don't necessarily need to 
kill every single zombie. Now, the specials I kind of focus on, especially um, the, the Mimics and Manglers, because they can do quite a bit of damage to the ACV, but everything else is fairly minor. And I do have the turret mod, but I'm waiting for the last one because that's where the mega is. At least in my first run, it was. That's where the mega was. And then also, um, it's just a little cramped there. So I figured that'll be the perfect time to use that one. I'm hoping it's there. here because I've got the uh, ammo here. Okay, 51% health. Ooh, hope I can make this. That's right, I need to I keep forgetting to re-equip these. Hold on, I heard a mangler somewhere. Make sure I get ammo. Ooh, the nuke will be good. Nice. Man, the time limit on this is just so rough. And this turret is here. Should be right here. Yes. I'm hoping it kills. Oh, oh, it's a different HVT this time. But it is definitely. A... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, more good. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, he's one of those uh, HVTs that spawns in other HVTs. Oh gosh. But I got it done. Nice. Did I get anything? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, don't really need a blood burner key. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got one. I got one schematic. Okay, now I need to figure out how to best get up to the next uh, contract. Which I want to do this one. So let's see. I need to find a jump pad. There's none nearby. Oop, I see one over there. It doesn't look like it's going to take me the way I want, though. How about up here? Okay, here we go. Oh, this is the right one. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I couldn't pull the chute because of the contract. That's okay. At least I got it. Question will be... Am I going to have enough time to complete everything? Uh, 
someone had made a good point to save that one for the last because then the next contract is right there. So I think that's a pretty good idea. So I'm going to do that. I kind of forget where everything is. Let's go to this one. Let's see, where does this take us? Oh, no, we're really good. the best I feel like the biggest problem is that once you make it on the very ground level it's a little bit more challenging I feel like as long as you kind of stay up where there's jump pads available or up relatively high it's easier to kind of uh, maneuver around So I know there's one, I think on this one or that one. Okay, we'll go to this one and then we'll come back for the other one. Nope, oh, I got it, all right. And this way. Okay, where's the next one? Over there. I meant to dive off that not slide. Okay, here's a jump pad over here. It's in the right direction. get back to that one spot over here looks good good I'll take that I'll take that I guess I don't really use that normally so I don't know why I picked that up okay gotta be fast here oh my goodness there's so many here minutes I feel like I can get this done in two minutes the problem will then be getting back up top that takes me a while actually let me just call this in that's a good idea because then I'll have uh, someone helping me
This is the really nice thing about um, the grenade launcher is Kaiden just can run in a circle and uh, kind of shoot towards your feet and it usually gets most things. Oh god, 41 seconds. I might make this in just the right amount of time. one of these out. Reward rift. Let me interact with the reward rift. I'll take that, I guess. Alright, time to get out of here. Oh, four seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How do I get up? How do I get up? I'm gonna totally die. Mask. Okay. Did this get me up there? Nope. Wait, train. I think I need the train, right? Train gets you up. I have to use all my self revives here. Got one more self revive, but I'm here. I'm at the end. Can he escape? Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna use this up and then we'll get out of here. Woohoo! Well, that's awesome. I was able to get one of the new schematics in here, so I was able to get the disciple bottle. Um, man, like, I, like I've said in the past, I really like this dark aether. It's just the time limit. The time limit is the critical thing for this. I don't think this Dark Aether is overly challenging. It's just that it's so big and different of how you maneuver about it that is the hard part for running this as a solo with the Elder. So I feel like I'm gonna need to just run this a couple times with the regular Sigil to kind of get a feel for how to better move around this and find some better paths to get to everything. Um, before I go back and attempt this uh, with the Elder. so. But overall, this is a lot of fun. I'm excited to go back in. I'm really wanting the Bandolier. The Stash expansion, I think, is going to be nice, but I also don't really feel like it's ultimately needed, especially at the end of the game's life cycle. But that's just my opinion. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Until the next one, peace.